my type. I am engaged. You have to see the my type music video to know what I'm talking about. But this is my engagement ring. Um, but okay. Oh shoot. So let's see if any of you can get this right, and we'll get a shout out. Question number one is. What, this is such a hard one, you're gonna hate me, but what day did I get a TikTok? The only reason is because I'll give you a little hint. I got it on a holiday. So that's the only reason I did it, because I did it on a holiday. But I really, I don't think anybody's gonna get this one. But we will see. I need a pen. I can't find a pen. Is your concert gonna be on? YouTube, yes, my it will be on YouTube. It'll be definitely live on Sessions and YouTube. I may try to get it live on Instagram too. I'm not sure though. Is it on Christmas Day? Ooh, Bark 002, you are so, 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 so close, but it's Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve was the answer. Okay, now question number two. I don't think anybody's gonna know this one either. What was my first cover that I ever posted? What was it? Okay, where's my pen? I can't find my pen. I don't think I brought a pen in here. Oh well, I don't think anybody's gonna give it, get this one right. I'll give you like 10 seconds, see if anybody gets it right. 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, that was a hard one. But my first cover I ever posted was Head Above Water by Avril Lavigne. Ooh, 70707 Barney Guy. You're so close because the second cover I ever posted was Hit Me Baby One More Time. So you're super, super close super close. Okay, now the next question is, I don't know if anybody will get this one right either because I wasn't as crazy about my themes. Like now, whenever I have a theme for a song, I feel like I talk about it all the time, but I really didn't do this back then. But what was the theme of Already There? Does anybody know this? This is a hard one because this was a year ago. Let me get a pen. I'll be right back. Got a pen. It's not really a pen. It's actually this. But, oh, I had no idea. Good guess, LOL. You are a good guesser. You should, like, be a test taker, 70707 Barney Guy, because I feel like you, like, are really good at educated guesses. But it was beach-themed. Okay, fourth question. Nobody's going to get this one. This one is really hard. Okay, this one's so hard. What YouTuber uses I Know Better as their intro slash background music for all of their songs? Was it sports themed? Ooh, Bark 002, you were so close, but On and Off was sports themed, or then Already There was beach themed but very, very, very close. You were so close. Okay, so yeah. What YouTuber, and this YouTuber, by the way, is like the best YouTuber ever and still to this day, and they've been using I Know Better in every single one of their YouTube videos for over a year now, and they still use it in every single music, in every single video they do, and they're like so supportive and so sweet. And I'll give you another little hint. This is, it's still hard, but I did interview them last year in Caroline's Magazine and also on my diary on my website, but it is a really hard one. But the answer is Pop Dissected, who, by the way, if you don't know Pop, Pop Dissected, you should so check out their channel. They do pop music commentary, so they do like videos like on Britney Spears, Taylor Swift, Selena Gomez, Lady Gaga, Katy Perry, and it's an awesome channel, and I know better is in every single one of their videos. So they're awesome and just amazing people. Okay, now we are going to go 
to two truths and a lie. So I'm going to tell you two truths and a lie about myself. Well, I'm going to tell you, okay, so I, I'm pretty sure most people know how this game works. But I'm going to tell you three statements about myself. And if you can, and two of them are going to be true. One of them is going to be a lie. And you let me know what you think the lie is. And then we'll see if you're right. Um, do you support Muslims? Of course. Muslims are amazing. Everybody's amazing. You know, and everybody needs is so entitled to religious freedom. Because I know for me, my religion is so important to me. And like, what even is the world if there's no religious freedom? It's like the most important thing ever. Yay, more guessing to do well. Uh, yes, let's see if you can get it. Two truths and a lie, number one. Are you ready? Number one, I love pranks. Number two, my favorite drink is green tea. Number three, my favorite game is words with friends. So one of those is a lie and the other two are true. Which of those three statements do you think is the lie? Number one, I love pranks. Number two, my favorite drink is green tea. Number three, Words with friends is my favorite game. The lie is green tea. Hmm. Your fave, Katie, do, do, do you think the lie is green tea? Well, words with friends is a lie, I think. Okay, Barco02, you think that words with friends is a lie. Okay, let's do a drum roll for the answer. Duh. The lie is I love pranks. And 70707 Barney Guy, you are correct. And you get a shout out. You are going on the shout out board. Congratulations. You were right. But yes, I actually hate pranks, which I know is weird because, and I knew people would have a hard time with this because I just did the whole weird prank thing. But I actually hate pranks because I think sometimes pranks can be really mean and I actually do love green tea and I love words with friends so I threw you for a little curveball a little curveball okay now we have another two truths and a lie for you you are the guessing king 270707 Barney guy I'm like so impressed with you you're so good at this game okay the next two truths and a lie my dream vacation is Hawaii I once won a contest to see who could hold their hands up for the longest at summer camp. And I love owls. So two of those statements are completely true. One of those statements is a bold faced lie. <laughs> Do you know which one it is? Okay, I'm gonna read it one more time. Statement number one, I dream vacation is Hawaii. Two, I once won a contest at summer camp to see who could hold their hands up for the longest. And three, I love owls. Okay, Barco, do you think owls is the lie? Let's see if you're correct. And let's do a little drum roll. Do Two, you are correct. I love owls is a lie. I hate owls. They creep me out. The owl is a lie. Oh my gosh, you're right too. You get a shout out too. So you get a shout out. You get a shout out, Barco02. You get a shout out, your fave Katie222. I'm sorry, I'm trying to like be Oprah. I know I'm not, but I can pretend. And 270707, oh, you messed up your winning streak, but super close. Um, my dream location actually is Hawaii. And you'll see why soon on Friday, because I have a huge announcement coming Friday on live stream that you don't want to miss. And it, um, it might have something to do with Hawaii. So just going to um, throw that out there. 
And now I'm going to do a little My Type trivia to see if anybody can get these. Because I've talked a lot about My Type. I know a lot of you have joined like every day and heard me talk about My Type a lot. So I'm very interested, interested to see how closely you've been listening. Are you ready? So I am going to give you a statement about my type. And you are going to say, if this statement about my type is true or false. Statement number one. The song, My Type, was originally entitled, Just My Type. Is that statement true or is it false? You know, like what's, was the title song only my type or when I originally wrote it, was it called just my type? Is that true or am I totally, am I totally lying to you? Your fave Katie, you say that is true. Isla underscore Flamingo, you say that is true. Let's see if you're right. Drum roll, please. And Barco, too, you say it's true. Duh. You are right. It is true. Ooh, and we have more shout-outs to give out. Ooh, and Miranda Casey, I'll give you a shout-out, too. So, um, Alyssa underscore Flamingo, you get a shout-out. And Miranda Casey, you get a shout-out. You all, everybody got that one right. Oh, my gosh. Really, really good job. Really good job. Oh, say Walla said it was false. It's actually true. It's actually true. The original song was just my type. And I it was like, yeah, that was in the notebook. That was the title. And then um, um, I brought into a co-writer and they were like, you know, I think my type's cooler. You know, it's like smoother. It's not as clunky and just make it my type. And I was like, mm, yeah, that's cool. I agree. Because you know what? With collaboration, I always think you should listen. A lot of people have big egos and like don't want to listen to other people, but it's always good to get other people's feedback because other people can have good things to say. Okay, last one. Last one. I don't know if you're going to get this one or not. But true or false, I dated the guy that I wrote my type about. Is that true? Or is that a lie? You know, like this guy who I wrote my type about, who was just my type, did we date? Did we go out? Did we... I... <laughs> did I really just go, did we... <laughs> I'm such an embarrassing person. I'm such an embarrassing person. Okay, Bark002, you say that it is true. Your fave Katie222, you say it is false. KRDoves23, you say that's true. Let's see who's right. Oh, Miranda KC3, you say that's true. 20707 Barney Guy, you say it's true as well. Let's see who's right. Drum roll, please. It is false. Yes, so it is false. But your fave Katie222 and Miranda Casey, oh, what? wrong one, wrong one. I meant to hit the applause. I meant to hit the applause. You got it right, so you get shout-outs. You get shout-outs. Yes. So basically what happened is I had a huge crush on him. I had a huge crush on him. I thought he was the cutest person ever. But um, he rejected me. And I moved. So nothing ever happened. But I did love him for, like, a good six months. But we never actually, like, dated, dated. The feelings um, were not mutual. But it's okay. Because um, we've all been there. <laughs> but on that note, thank you so, so much for watching Trivia Tuesday. This was a fun one. Wasn't this a fun one? I loved it. I loved it so much. And by the way, make sure to check out my live concert um, today at 4 o'clock. So that will be in three hours. You don't want to miss it. And make sure to join because 
I love to sing songs on the spot. So, like, if you join the live stream and just put in a song, I'll sing it. And I will sing any song. Like, honestly, even if I don't know the song, I'll try to learn it on the spot and sing it. Because I always love to, like, you know, give you something like it. But thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a glitterful, glitterful day. Goodbye, Facebook. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you for being an awesome platform. Love you so much. Hope you enjoyed my new background. I've had so much fun going live on Facebook and Twitch and YouTube, which I love. So near and dear to my heart. So amazing. Best platforms ever. So excited to be on Twitch, by the way. Twitch is awesome. Goodbye. Thank you for joining. And I hope you have a great trivia day.